you know, it would have been nice if colleges would have just did what they were supposed to do and actually study an issue and see if it works and then force it up upon millions and millions of undergrads. But they didn't do that. They they fell in love with an idea that wasn't proven. And now there's there's a lot of evidence that is not only it's not proven, but that it's actually harmful. But guess what? Now you've got a multi-billion dollar industry that's going to fight tooth and nail to yeah. protect their turf and expand their turf. And that's just what interest groups do. It's it's not like particular to this group. It's like, you know, you can, you know, pick any political organization. And once there once there's money tied to it and, and there's uh, an organized group, they're going to fight for what they think is theirs. And and they still have lots and lots of clout and they have people in very high positions who really believe this stuff. And it's spilling out into my, you know, I just wrote an article uh, about how Harvard and Sundance, the, the Sundance Film Festival, how they share the same brain. Now, my my industry is it's it's like I'm going to, you know, Brown University or something that just trying to make a movie because uh, w whether you're in meetings or at film festivals, um, everything is has this the same worldview that uh, that started really in the universities, and it's just kind of spilling over into more and more parts of the culture. So yeah, I I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> I want to be optimistic, yeah. but, um, and that's frankly part of the reason why we think the, this movie could be really well timed right now because our message is not just like. DEI is awful. Like, you know, we agree with the goals of having, you know, everybody achieve as much as they possibly can in the absence of racism and all the other things that, you know, most uh, well-meaning people are are opposed to. But um, there are lots of better ways to do um, to do these things. There's, there's this um, professor at Harvard named Roland Fryer who himself was targeted by um, the outrage mob for for uh, uh, not very good reasons. And he says like, why, Harvard, if you care about more black representation, why don't you use some of your billions to start schools in inner cities? And he, he, he wrote a big, a big article about that. And, and you know, you could, there, you know, there are, we've created this Rube Goldberg machine, <laughs> DEI. And if we really wanna just like make sure that students have the skills that they need to succeed in Harvard or elsewhere, I mean, Harvard is, you know, there are few institutions more wealthy or more influential than Harvard. They could just go out and do it. But, you know, they don't. As far as they know, they, they, they don't. And his idea, he's a brilliant guy. Um, you know, he's he's a black guy, uh, grew, grew up uh, poor. You know, he would be he would be the president of Harvard, maybe, if, if he just thought the right way. So all, for all this talk of diversity, mm -hmm. It's really a lot of times it's just skin deep. They they don't. If you want to make people uncomfortable, whether you're at the Sundance Film Festival or or at Harvard, uh, you know, bring up viewpoint diversity or intellectual diversity. They don't want that. They don't want Roland Fryers. They they want people who, uh, if you're black, you're supposed to think this way. If you're brown, you're supposed to think this way. And and those are the people they like.